This was affirmed at the Innovating Green Networks Through Industries and TVET Empowerment for Green Hydrogen Signing Ceremony between Namibia and Germany by Deputy Executive Director for Higher Education, Training, Research and Innovation, Lisho Mundia. Dr. Mundia, who was speaking on behalf of the minister, Sanet Stienkamp, noted that the ministry recognizes that for industrialization to succeed, education, technical skills and vocational training must stand at the center. We all know Namibia has declared its vision to become a continental, but more so a global leader in production and export of green hydrogen. As such, as a ministry responsible for education, innovation, youth, sports, arts, and culture, we recognize that this vision to be successful. Education, skill, technical skills, and vocational training must stay in the center. He said, like many other African countries, Namibia faces some skills gap. The ministry is committed to closing these gaps by strengthening vocational education and training. Another is by aligning the curriculum with industry needs, reskilling trainers, and providing pathways for young Namibians to progress from TVET into higher learning institutions. NAST Vice Chancellor Erold Naumab said the Ignite Green Hydrogen Project and the partnership with NEMT, NAMWATER, Hyphen Hydrogen Energy, Zero, and Kietman Swap Vocational Training Center, NAST will strengthen vocational training pathways and align them with industry needs. We also anticipated that Ignite Green Hydrogen will ignite further developments and investments in Namibia's green hydrogen economy by demonstrating the value of secured human capital, industry-aligned training, and applied research. The project will attract new partners, foster innovation, and encourage sustainable industrial expansion across our country. NAST has been awarded leadership of the Ignite Green Hydrogen Project which is a multi-million euro initiative funded by the European Union. It was conceived to strengthen Namibia's emerging green hydrogen and power sectors. The grant, valued at $48 million, will be implemented over a period of 24 months, starting next month. As the lead organization, NAST will head a consortium.